You guys want to see a funny game? This is a funny game right here. Let me show you. Sam and Max save the world. This is done by the same people that, you know, by Telltale. So Sam and Max save the world is a Telltale game. It came out in 2006. So I think, yeah, this should have been like before like, all their bigger hits like The Walking Dead and such. I've only played one chapter. I'm actually in the middle of episode two, but we're gonna go back actually to episode one. Episode one, there we go. Yeah, I I know it's been out for years, but I never actually played it until just recently, and I only completed one chapter, so we're just gonna go back to this. Save slots. Okay, so this is what I'll do. We'll do this one. So now, we're doing it all the way from the beginning. So, episode- let me make my face a little smaller. Episode 1, Culture Shock. The former child stars of the Soda Poppers TV show are wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. This is no ordinary tale of child stars gone awry. There's a dark force behind the Poppers' baffling antics. Using only their wits and a slew of heavy household objects, it's up to Sam and Max to save the day. Episode 1, Culture Shock. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Okay, we're back. I had to turn my light on. My dog's in the room with me, and she don't like it when it's dark. Which I'll just show you, I'm not gonna go through every object here, because that takes some time, but I'll just go through a few. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Yeah, me, hold on. Yeah, we'll do Max. So Sam's the big guy, and Max is the little guy. No comment. I'm trying to do the coat hanger. Wait, here we go. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam! Put it back! There, that fixed it. No dice. Yeah, alright, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna look out the window real quick. That'll come into play in a little bit. You see the graffiti? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. And that's the only thing I can see right now. I think this is a little loud. Alright, we'll try that for right now. 
And then right here, hold on, we have a boxing glove. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. So now that's in my inventory if I push the Y button. I'm on this switch, by the way. So I got my gun, and I got my boxing glove. We're not gonna need it right now. Oh, okay, another game just successfully downloaded, but my face is blocking it, so you didn't see it. Whee! I forgot, he scared me for a second. I forgot that happens. Yeah, you go up to him, and he just smacks him around. <laughs> actually scared me for a second. I didn't think it was gonna happen right then and there. I wanted to check the answering machine. <laughs> it caught me off guard. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Oh, I thought there was an answering. Never mind. I'm trying to think which one I want to do first. Okay. Oh yeah, up there. Yeah. Wait. Go in the wrong direction, guys. Come on. Jesse James's hand. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Okay, anyway. Closet door. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, there it is! I can't get what I want to get. There we go, rat hole. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. So what do you think we gotta do? I'll let you think about that for a moment while I just look at a couple more items. Ah yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Yeah, just giving you an idea that a lot of this- When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of this stuff is just filler, so you don't really need to look at every item all the time. But anyway, we're coming back to this, because this took me a, a few minutes to figure out, I was embarrassed to say, because I should have figured it out right away. So he needs Swiss cheese. We only have regular, like, well, non-Swiss cheese. I don't want to say regular, but uh, anyway, non-Swiss cheese. So what do we do? Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. We made Swiss cheese. The music is still loud. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. <laughs> okay, my partner's Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Fair. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, <laughs> but it always sounds good on TV. All right, I've gone through all of them, so now I'm going to switch over to Max. Itchy nose. Obligatory itchy nose. Anyway, okay, so here we go. 
I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Yeah. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Can I go now? Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Amateurs. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna... Yeah, uh... Oh. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. Okay, so I pretty much did everything for him also. But he said he got a headache, so... You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Okay, let me go back to... Max, and here we go. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... Oh, I wish I could unsee that. Hello? Yes? Oh, he answered it. Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! yeah. Oh! He dropped him. Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. So now we're heading to the corner store one last time for old time's sake. Whee! So now you kind of get the idea for what kind of game this is going to be. I like all of Sam's quotes. Okay, so the corner store is this way. You see there's a van over here. But you can't do anything. Hmm. Yeah. You can't Looks go like he's any got further. Some big beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. He's got beans in a gumball machine. He got beans in that. So <laughs> So this is as far as we can go this way. And we're gonna go in there in a second. That's the store we gotta go on Bosco's. And this is our office right here. That's our car. And then we can only go as far as Sybil's. Like, this is it. Just, and there's only nothing much going on back there. Nope. Got stuck. Whee! I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Okay, so it's Bosco's Inconvenience. Your family may be in danger. That's what the newspaper just said. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yowzers, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! 
He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail. Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, Stop self- Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise, or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way! I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? <laughs> yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. Ah, right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Okay, so yeah, that was a little long, but we got a lot of information. So he's dropping off videos that he didn't order, and he's got some sort of defense system. But it only works to stop shoplifting. Not for what's going on here with this guy. With this little, uh, the little child star. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? This is actually going to be fun. Watch this. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? <laughs> Who's asking? Huh? Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. I don't, I, I'll only do it once. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Yeah, I'll only do it nope. once. I won't do it again. Okay. What have you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! 
And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Alright, so for right now, that's actually all um, we're going to talk about here. Nothing for us right now. Okay. We're gonna go right now and deal with... We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! So we're gonna talk to the child star, and then after we talk to the child star... That's him, yeah, running back and forth really fast. Then we're gonna go, um, drive around to find white-collar crime, get the $10,000, come back and buy the tear gas. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. I don't know why I can't talk. All right, let me just do this real quick. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. <laughs> oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs. All right, so we got an Ibo video. Now, I'm trying to talk to this guy. Here we go. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies, and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one, they're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh right, sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh yeah, we've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. 
How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, To Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys! There's no law against giving away free stuff! Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos! Boy, what a monotonoid! Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on! It's a free country! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on! You don't have to make a federal case out of it! No, we don't have to. We want to! Okay, we don't get really get anywhere with him. If you'll so... excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Okay, so... Do this. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. <laughs> Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT land here. I'll do it. Uh-oh! Time out for number one! Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. So every time we uh, have Max go in the bathroom, Wizard's gotta go to the bathroom. So... Okay, so now we're just about ready to go. So let me show you real quick what happens. When you, um... Here, yeah, okay, so I'll first, yeah, I'll show you what happens when you take your gun out. Ooh, Ooh that's what I'm talking about! Clean up on aisle three! That's B Tad's, that's his defense system. You okay, Sam? <laughs> I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. So you... Oscos is a gun free zone. Gun free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Same thing happens when you steal something, so. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. So now if we try to leave with it without paying for it... What? Oh! Oh, did you see that? <laughs> oh, yeah! Attention shoppers, the cheese ain't free! So that counts Sam, when you try to steal you something. Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Say Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy <laughs> smell out of my fur. Ooh, fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one!
If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. So now we can oh, watch I just what can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha. Uh, it's still not quite right. Mwahahaha. <laughs> hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... All right, before we actually talk to this this guy, let me just say, let's look at this right over here. Let him go inside. All right, have him go to the bathroom again. But that po- yeah, I can- all right, I got the poster now. Never tongues mind. placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I think that's funny. I got quite a few tongues that way. I just think that's funny. Whee! Like, silly funny, not like hysterical funny. I don't want to wake him up. Box of coal tar. Why don't we want to wake him up? Oh. We might have to go into the bathroom. I don't remember how to talk to him. Ooh, fun! Oh no, never mind. I don't want to wake him up. We, 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 we gotta wake him up. What do we do? No sense kicking a man when he's down. I Since guess. when? What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? Oh, let me see that! I actually meant to click on Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Hey, Bosco. you just gonna leave him there? Uh... You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinth and scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it! Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. <laughs> no, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Okay, I forgot what we do to talk to, to him. I guess we're gonna leave him there. Alright, so here's Specs. Look, Sam! It's another one of the soda poppers! Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh! You made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Sounds fascinating. But enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Well, that's nice. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! 
It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Is this art, or is it advertising? I, I... I'm not... Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. All right, so let's just uh, do what we said we were gonna do next, which is, which is drive to get that ten thousand dollars. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! So this is fun. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't <laughs> think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already yeah, this planning is fun. on it, little buddy. Okay, so oh. Okay, so let's pull somebody over. So Attention fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Go back to here. Here we go. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Sam one, tail light zero. Okay, let's pull him over. Warning. Pull over or die. Jeez. <laughs> Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being. Hmm, what's the fine for a broken tail light? Why, isn't it ten thousand dollars? What? Are you crazy? Oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. My attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. There we go. Thanks, sucker.
I want to do it one more time and then have him say just kidding instead of pulling over. Let me see. I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Hey, you front-ended us! <laughs> okay, now we're done. Nice. So we got the $10,000, now we're gonna get to tear gas. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... I don't remember what to do. We wanna buy something. Ah, uh, what you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. <laughs> but it works. Trust me, trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? <laughs> the 10,000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Okay, so now that's done. So, I still don't... I don't want to wake him up. I don't remember what to do with Wizard. I forgot I could talk to Max. Boy, the security system in here is something else. I'll say. I'm glad I don't have pockets. Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Okay, so we can't use the tear gas in here, so we use that for something else. All right, I'll take up. We're gonna take the spray paint. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. This could use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've got to fix it, brain freeze. <laughs> he goes just as fast as the other one does. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what we need. More lame poetry. We can do it to this one, too. So we can do it to... That oops. doesn't need another coat. Oh, it doesn't need another coat. Alright, so for right now, let's go into Sybils. Oh. There we go. Tampering with oops. the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose, ah, memories. Sibbles. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! <laughs> Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? 
Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? <laughs> Don't assume gender. <laughs> but we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Civil Pandemic Licensed Psychotherapist. Right. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, <laughs> you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. Gee, what a That'll shocker. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo. It's a system of ocular exercises. So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Who's this lady culture person? Brady! Brady culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man on the planet, that's all! It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore! I'm so disillusioned! Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? Mm -hmm. I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's! Yeah, we have one, Enough actually. Said. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Whee! Oh, I meant to talk to him. Well, look at the fox. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Okay, Max, I want to talk to you, Max. Don't go far. Interesting place. It seems familiar. I think I may have come in to get a tattoo of Bess Truman <laughs> once when I was drunk. You don't have a tattoo. Maybe they used white ink. <laughs> Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. Do you hear a thumping sound? Probably just rats. <laughs> yeah, really big rats, locked in a closet. Let's look around. Great idea! Yeah, you see the background skin art thing. Uh, oh, that's thing. Wait a minute. See the skin art. Hey, this was a tattoo place first. I like the tiger clock. It's getting late. Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long. I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. <laughs> Some of my favorites! And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. 
Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. <laughs> knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Alright, so here we go. We'll knock him out with the boxing glove. I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, he there he is. Very fast. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Now we'll just use the gun. I can see you! Please stop doing that! But now we use it for what we really got this for, which is... The tear gas grenade launcher, we got it for this guy. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Oh! <laughs> but it will make you cry! <laughs> <laughs> now we use the box of gloves. Please, Sam, allow me! Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, Peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control! What? Hey! What am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil! It's Peepers! Ugh. <sighs> Yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? Remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear! Okay, so that's one brother down. Two more to go. I lower the music even more. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Have you got ten grand? <laughs> I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! Oh, geez. It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm! Security. <laughs> Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah! I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway. Except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. 
Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. We'll actually do this later. Um... Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Yeah. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. <laughs> it comes into play later. Doing it now is um, not helpful for me and for this for this walkthrough. So yeah. So we needed to do this first. So now we can go back to the other guy. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> so, yeah, so now that we know, like, we knocked him, yeah, we were supposed to do the other guy first. Um. Hello. To know about knocking them unconscious and then waking them up again. So, now we can do it with <clears> this guy. Uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! Oh, what's going on? Yeah. Where... Where's the bathroom? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's a 227... something. Specs would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no! I've got to take some time out for number one! <laughs> well, that was helpful. Okay, so... Specs is this guy out here spray painting, so we'll take care of him next. And then that would be, um, the three brothers. So two down, one to go. So let's use this, uh, stuff on him. Hey, quit it, Brain Freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people who wear glasses. So it won't work on him because he wears glasses, so we need to figure out an another thing to do. Which I already know. Hopefully by now, because this we couldn't do before. Hopefully we can do now. I guess because we had to do it in order of the brothers. This could use a little improvement. There we go. What are you doing? Don't mess with my painting. Now I've got to fix it all up. Okay, so now, since we have to knock him out, Whee! if you notice where we are, we're right... All right, let me get there. We're right under our office anyway. So let's get back there. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It is here. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. So now we have the bowling ball, and you guessed it, but we got the bowling ball, and you guessed nah. it. <laughs> Can you believe we get paid for this? <laughs> I love this country. This is straight up attempted murder. You made me mess up. <laughs> and now this is quality television. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say! <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. Alright, so let's wake up Specs and see what he has to say. Oops, wait, wait, no, I didn't mean to go to the DeSoto. Take control of your mind. 
destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! Quick, follow that soda popper. Okay, so now we're gonna be on a high speed chase. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! So we gotta dodge all these boxes and everything else. There we go. But see, every little thing slows us down. So even though that ramp helped speed me up, I hit something after and it slowed me down. Watch out! Oh. oh shit, all right. Damn it. Stop, we just want to talk. Really? Right. Oh. Take the wheel, right. little buddy. With pleasure. There we go, shot his tire. Got him. Yes! Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Coincidence? I think not. Yes. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? Nope. Coincidence. Always a coincidence. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. <laughs> okay, so I have to have, um... I have to be diagnosed. Disturbingly, what they said. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. All right. So yeah, artificial personality disorder. So that's what the um. Di we need that diagnosis before we can go in. Because watch. Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. Trust me, I have experience with these things. So we're gonna go back to the, um, psychotherapist and have her... ...uh, diagnose us. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. So we have to show that we're obsessed with money, have a violent reaction to dentistry, and something about peers getting older. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, 
obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Okay, I should be reading these. Um, I chose a Susan Lucci and an Emmy one just because, like, you know, actress, Hollywood, rich, money, and all that. Even, you know, so. That's why I chose that one for money. Um, let's see, these are a bunch of bacteria playing basketball. Not really money related. Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. That's probably close to it. Uh, money-wise, celebrities and all. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. Ooh, that might be it because, um, of the mansion. And then the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. We're gonna go with the mansion one. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? A squirrel that got run over twice. No. My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Possibly wallet money. Coded love notes from space aliens. And an autograph written in braille. We'll go with that one. My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Okay, elephants at the New York Stock, Stock Exchange. That's gotta be the one for money. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. Uh, if that word is offensive, I'm sorry. Uh, the exhaust manifold of a bread truck and 20 nuns with machine guns. Okay, so we'll go with the top one. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Jeez, how many are there? That blotchy thing... Alright, that blotchy thing a flashbulb does to your eyes. An orangutan escaping from the trunk of a Soto, Which they already spoke about before. A war between two teams of abstract shapes and a debit card fed through a document shredder. That one. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Yes. Well, judging by these, you seem a little hung up on money, but I wouldn't call it an obsession. What are you talking Thanks, about? Doc. That should be an Do you obsession. think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their obsession with money. I thought I picked everything for money. Well, we'll go back to that one then. We'll do free What's free association like? This one. It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. No, wait, can't I talk? I guess it doesn't really matter, so we'll just go with... Promenade. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. I don't... Well, crown in teeth, so I'm not sure if it's crown like the one on your head or crown like when they crown a tooth that they worked on. Sample size. I <laughs> Sounds see. funny though. Comb. Eucalyptus. What an unusual response. <laughs> well, this has been illuminating. Uh, what's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. So crown Anything was to support relating. small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. We'll do that again, cause I, yeah, because I guess that um, crown was relating to dentistry. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Calorie consciousness. Mm-hmm. How about this word? 
Drill. That's definitely a dentistry word, so. Whoa, don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! There you we go. See him at Thanksgiving. That is our Ooh, violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. That is a violent reaction Try to dentistry. It. Aquamarine. <laughs> That's so really? Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Alright, so this is gonna have a lot to do with peers getting older. Creepy. Very creepy. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Max. It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do-da, do-da. But that's not unusual. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake? Your friend? You subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean... I hope it's not serious. <laughs> I'd better mark this on your chart. There we go. I knew that. All right. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. So this is all about money, which I thought I did right the first time. So let's do this now. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Pennies, that has to be it. Pair of oxen boxing in a rowboat. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. Oh yeah, I picked Susan Lucci the last time, right? The results of the last time I left, I let Max drive. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Bacteria playing basketball, pigeons, uh, man strange scratching into a mansion. One of these two. I still think it's this one from the SUV mansion. Crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with money. That's a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. 
You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. <laughs> Cool, we can leave now. Okay, so let's get going. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former oh. child stars. I did oh, forget okay. to do something, guys. We gotta come back. I gotta come back. I forgot to do something. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Okay, before we head down to Brady Culture, we're, there is one thing I forgot to do. Forgot to watch the video. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. Hmm. What you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. So now we know what the video does, and we know that Brady culture used- oops. That Brady culture used the video to hypnotize the brothers. Oops, wrong thing Hello, again. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? And, you know, but which we unhypnotize them, if that's even the right word, dehypnotize them. But he hypnotized them for something relating to his Ibo stuff. But it looks like it's more about him just being worshipped. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we can put this form in. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. 
Brady culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda poppers, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever! How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Ah! Okay, we're back. I don't think there's actually anything I can honestly do to him. I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. Oh, don't even try. You have to do that to knock him out. I love that part. So now that he's knocked out, because otherwise he would continue to walk back and forth. Must deliver videos. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to get out of that when I first played it. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become Video Delivery Man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh. Hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. Okay, so we got the gun. I will be universally loved by everyone in the universe. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. Alright, well, he's in the TV, so let's take care of the TV first. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh, yes, that's much better reception. So, now that he's in the light bulb, we'll turn off the light switch. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam! I've got an itch I can't scratch! Didn't hurt. <laughs> it's just a dream, Sam. Hey, look up at the um, Jesse James hand, following me around and pointing, pointing at me.
Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Dance, puppet, dance. <laughs> Alright, well, shooting don't work. Shooting don't work, so we have to figure out another way to... I remember what we ha- Alright, okay, I remember what I have to do. So the mouse is right here by this bicycle pump. What is this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Okay, so... Strange. Nope. I will have legions of sickening breakfast cereals named... Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No! The cheese must stand alone! No! Okay, and another so... one bites the cheese. So now we're down to just this guy right over here. Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Weird. I am Brady Co What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam! Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great! But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started! Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! <laughs> Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> hey, I'm getting pretty good at that. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! Oh my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Oh, uh. Oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I, Bo Man. <laughs> Stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Okay. Buy one, get one. <laughs> Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. 
Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Okay, so we got our... Diagram. We're gonna go back to... Bosco, and we are going to see if he can make it. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Okay, so now we're going back to get the hangar. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've gotta tell him as soon as possible. Very convenient, that was the first thing highlighted, was the, uh, the hangar. Notice the van's gone. Still can't go further. Make do antenna do as a make do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, seems like the old Moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Let's go save Max. I'm coming, Max. Rule number three, always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Yeah, I gotta put it on now then, okay. There we go. Oh, he does it, he put it on himself.
Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you! And this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ow! Okay, that... I'm just gonna move myself over here. There we go. You okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog! <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> you may as well give up now, Culture. Your hypnotic ray thingamadoodle won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. <laughs> Shut up! They do so! I forced them to. Attack the videotapes. The foons. Attack the dog. Yeah. Let me try that. Become one. yourselves. <laughs> Oops. Attack the dog. Ow. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. I'm trying to remember what it was. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Worship yourselves. No, me, me, worship me. Everything is about me. I'm trying to think what was it. It's a stack of those Ibo videos. Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. Nice hat, by the way. It protects me from that ray of his. Speaking of which, I don't see you delivering videotapes. Yeah, apparently I can't be hypnotized. It was driving the Phantom here, Berserk. There's got to be something wrong with his brain. Well, that goes without saying. <laughs> You should surrender. I've got the place surrounded. Liar, liar, pants on fire! Attack yourselves! No! Me! Attack me! Me, me, me! Oh yeah, me. that's what it was. Yes! Oops! No, wait! I mean... <laughs> ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam! Ooh. You played him oh, like a two-dollar mm. glockenspiel! I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. 
Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. Uh-oh, what happened there? Okay, there we go. So that is... That was the very first episode of uh, Sam and Max Save the World. I'm just turning myself around. You look at the credits. Those people worked very hard on the on the game in this episode. Now I got the hiccups. There we go. So that was that. That so you can see why I like it. It's very funny. So. There's six episodes in total, so there will be five more episodes of this at some point. I, I only got through part way of the second episode, so I'll just start that over again uh, at a later date. So, I don't want to take up the credit space. So, okay. So... Let this all go. So I guess every episode now is going to be different. Like this was the Brady Culture Ivo videos. And the next one looks like it's Myra. And it was sort of... It was sort of um, aiming that way too. Like, like in that direction when I was... Oop. Oh, in memory of Karen Nelson, 1965 to 2006. Rest in peace. So the next one's going to be more about, like, that Myra show that you just saw at the end there. Um, so I hope you liked it. That's it for now. Have a great day. See you next time.